Hello everyone and welcome back to Saga 3. We're ready to take on the tower. Between episodes, I did go to the inn. I refilled some of my weapons. All right, can I just move on? Yes. Let's do this. Uh, I fought a couple battles in between, but nothing too major. No, no major grinding. I might do some off, off camera, but for now, we'll just we'll just go with it until we start having some trouble. This is where I wish I had more AOE. Let's see how that goes. Add some good damage. Alright, hopefully everyone, if they hit, should finish their... their enemy off. Got some HP. Mouse drop parts. I'm still. I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Ooh, treasure. I don't remember there being treasure down here. A uh, potion. What's the difference between a potion and a salve? Oh, very small and a small amount of HP. Okay. Oh, hello, slime. I don't remember there being slimes. Not this early, anyway. Alright, how do we want to do this? I think attack the caterpillar. Let's... Blizzard the gel and fire the gel. See which is more effective. I just have all our physical attacks just pile on the caterpillar. Perfect. Alright, so Blizzard did 8, so Blizzard is bad. Fire did 33. Fire is good. Oh, physical text did uh, more than I expected. Ouch! Ow! Man, 12 damage. That is not, that is not nothing. Let's try wind. Set him on fire. See how Thunder does. That's not bad. Not nearly as pathetic as Ice was. Oh my god, I have so much money. Let's go up this way. It seems like they all lead to the same place. I feel like the on-screen enemies with the way they're placed is going to cause me... And the fact that they keep regenerating is going to cause me a lot of grief. Uh, oh, hello, slime. Because, like, R Romancing Saga 3 is probably, like, the other baseline that I have. And with that, there's, like, a set amount of enemies. Alright, I'm going to try... Lizard on the pebble and set fire to the pebble. So usually once I cleared a screen, I felt pretty good that like, all right, that's all the grinding I need to do. And for the most part, that is true. But when like, but if they just endlessly respawn, it's really hard to get a feel for, should I be avoiding these battles? Should I be fighting all of them? That's probably going to be the tricky part, and that will probably lead to some grinding later. Which, so far, I would say not a problem. I'm... I'm having a good time with this. Ten-year-old me is, like, super jealous.
So basically, my my history with this game. Wait a sec, so that wasn't very good. That was better. Or at least my, my history with the original. You know, I found out about Final Fantasy Legend, like the first one, from a book called How to Win at Game Boy Games. And I don't, I'm, I'm trying to remember, like my, my memory is a little bit hazy. Ah, oh, fire up. Max HP up, nice. I missed that Alice's HP went up. So I, I don't remember which I got into first. It was Final Fantasy Legend or Final Fantasy kind of proper. Uh, let's just go with that. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. Let's go water the rhino. Yeah, that's better. But I, I really liked what I had read about Final Fantasy Legend, like the idea of like customizing your group and you had these characters that you got to kind of bring with you on your adventure. And I think the book even gave, no, the instruction manual gave them backstories. Hide cap. But yeah, it was, it was just a really neat concept of, of that customization because there weren't really A lot of games that I'd played to that point that were that had that. I think I'm gonna give that to Hannibal. So that's what kind of drew me. And then one day, because I'm a giant nerd, I brought my Game Boy with me to school, and it was kind of like a gross day outside. So we had this thing where, like, you know, bright sunny day. You could go, like, play wherever. On the blacktop, on the grass, they didn't care. Um, but if it had been, like, kind of raining, but it wasn't anymore, they didn't want kids dragging their muddy shoes all through the school. So they would say, like, all right, you can go outside, but you can't go on the grass. Like, you have to you have to stay on the blacktop. So it was one of, it was one of those types of days where we were stuck on the blacktop. And... Oh, combo fire and ice. No, fire and thunder. Fire and ice would have been really cool. That's some good that's some good damage we got right there. So I'm out, I'm out there on the playground cuz like I think at that point I was kind of into playing I want to say soccer. And if I couldn't do that, like I just didn't really care about anything else. Um, so the, so the soccer goals were, were off limits that day. So I brought my Game Boy out with me. And this, like, this older kid came up to me and he's like, oh, what are you playing? Like, and a lot of people up to that point had been asking me what I was playing and, like, anytime I would say Final Fantasy Legend, they were like, uh, I don't know what that is. So I was like, uh, Final Fantasy Legend. He's like, oh! Like I have, my, I've been. I'm playing that too. Like I have my game with me. Let me see if I can go inside and and get my like my game. So he did. So he did. He went inside and he he got his his Game Boy and came out and showed me. He was like way farther than I was. Uh, I think we set the bug on fire and attack the bug. Attack the bug. You know, so he kind of actually helped me through Final Fantasy Legend 1. And then, so like, you know, we, we kind of became friends after that. And one day he brought his Game Boy with him and he's like, hey, check this out. And it was uh, Final Fantasy Legend 3. Not really sure what happened to 2 in the middle of there. But like, I started playing it and I'm like, oh my god, this is like really cool. Like, this was, this was like Final... I think by the time that came around, I had played Final Fantasy VI. And so, like, Final Fantasy Legend 3 had a lot of the things that I remember from, from Final Fantasy VI, where it's like you fight, you have these experience points. You know, you get stronger as you level up. 
the ro ro robots in Legend 3 that there wasn't in 6, but you know. Small details. So then for like a year, I begged my mom to like get it for me. <laughs> And then she finally did. And growing up, I was in doctor's offices a lot. Um, usually at least once a week and for probably any, anywhere for it was like a minimum of a half hour to like a maximum of like two hours. So like on those days, if I wanted a game at all, I was on my Game Boy. So if I wanted to play, it's the same reason I really enjoy... Um, Link, uh, Link's Awakening, Legend of Zelda, because like that was the only way I could play these games on the go, and if I didn't play them on the go, then I just wasn't going to get to play them at all. I like, I want to see now an adventure between with Ophelia and Thelonious. Because those, like, that that is a very odd, like, odd couple uh, matchup. But really, I mentioned my, like, that these characters are named after my D&D uh, &D group, but we, uh, this is actually a, a podcast. Um that one of my friends put together and he uh, he asked me to be part of it for season two. I knew I was forgetting something at, after like the first episode uh, of this to uh, to plug that. So yeah, so yeah, I do a Dungeons and Dragons podcast called Noobs and Dragons and it's basically my friend taking people who've never played. Oh my God, I just need to go up here. Oh, it's a boss monster. Let's just... Nope, there's no going around. This one's huge! Uh, so yeah, it's my friend kind of taking people who have never played Dungeons & Dragons before and takes them through their first campaign. So that's uh, kind of how I got involved. And so I had my, uh, my first character... Uh, Alice, who kind of came from a, a game that I'd always wanted to make and just, you know, never, never really got around to. And, uh, and halfway through the campaign, if you get the whole, uh, COVID situation happened and we weren't, we were using a, uh, a studio. Uh, worldly two step. So blurred two step actually hits harder. So I'm gonna go with that. And then we're gonna try water. Set it on fire. Cut in. Ooh, maybe I should heal Malra. Well, he can probably take another hit. Uh, but yeah. So COVID hit, and we weren't able to get into the studio we were using. So. I threw out the suggestion of, hey, let's do like a one-shot adventure. Like maybe it'll go on like a couple episodes and then see, like see where things are. Cause I mean, obviously at the beginning, no one knew what was really gonna happen. How long this was gonna go, go on for. So I, so I had to come up with another character and I was like, well, in the in the game, like Ophelia had a brother and a sister. I hadn't really fleshed out the brother character very much, so I was like, "All right, we'll go. We'll go with the sister and kind of give her like her own adventure." Uh, and that ended up going on for like the, our little intermission ended up going on a, on a lot longer than uh, I think any of us expected. <laughs> so. Uh, Consider checking out the uh, the Noobs and Dragons podcast from Gamezilla Media. I'll put a hopefully I remember to put a, a link in the description uh, so you guys can check out the season two. Uh, it's one of those things where you don't necessarily have to have listened to season one to get what's going on. 
Um, there are there are references, but there's not really anything where it's like, man, if I had listened to season one, I would know what's going on in season two a lot better. Not really, not really the case. You can uh, move right on to, to season two. Although I do recommend season one because it is very good. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. That's my that's my plug. Is <laughs> if you like Dungeons and Dragons, uh, check out the uh, Noobs and Dragons podcast. Here we go, combo. Kill it. Got some HP. Oh, that's some big damage. Strength up. I don't need his strength up. I need everyone else's stats. <laughs> Seven damage. Yeah, I could I could definitely use 26 damage. I guess I should have paid more attention. I would have expected that to do more. Alright, blurred two step. Let's try thunder and see how that does. Recover Theo. This boss did not exist in the original, by the way. I was I was not expecting this. Oh, does your H like your current HP increase along with it? Oh, ooh, that's a, all of that is bad. I think I think Ophelia's fire is probably the best thing we've got, but she needs to keep everyone alive. Combo. I've never been very good at using the combo attacks in most saga games. I feel like without Melrose, this would have been lost a long, long time ago. What is the point of having Hannibal up front be a tank if he doesn't actually ever get hit? Thank you. I knew that would happen. I'm like, the game is going to try to make me look stupid, but joke's on them because now I can do what I actually want to do. I've learned I've learned ways to make my bad luck work in my favor. So much it's so much damage compared to what everyone else can do. The bonus damage is almost as much as the base. Alright, feel you set this thing on fire. 16 whole damage. Ooh, okay. Oh, I can take another she can take another hit. Same play. Same play. Okay, maybe try a battle axe. Let's try that. Oh! Alice with the killing blow. Uh, no. We can cross the sea using this. Let's head west from Pilgrim's Path to get to the town of Irem. Or Irem. Okay, I like that the stuff shows up so you kind of have an idea of where to go. I was gonna say I I would miss the, uh, the like the world exploration that normally opens up right about now, but they they kind of compensate for that with all these extra areas that open up. Uh, you can kind of explore and grab treasure. I think that's actually kind of better. Uh, attack. Uh, attack that. Thundara those. Fire uh, those. And just long sword. Blurred two step. That way it goes before the the wizard warrior lizard gets to go. Get wrecked. Whoa. I think it's safe to say those things are weak to fire. Oh, there's a hole there. I 
I bet I can fall down because I remember there was a treasure chest. And I couldn't figure out how to get across at first glance. I bet that's it. I should have changed that around. Wind magic's still up. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's better. A skill up? Or a stat up. All right, let's see. Ready, go. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that worked exactly like I thought it would. Oh, there's a fire tome. Okay, oh, that's actually, that's fine. That saves me some money. So now, fire tome for Thelonious. I'm gonna take the rapier though. I don't see him using it enough to, uh, for that to make a difference. Oh, there's the, the magic skills on the left side. Alright, that's probably fine. Where am I now? What? Oh, the slime was after me, whatever. I hear that noise, I'm like, oh, something's trying to kill me. Let's go see if anything new opened up as far as side quests. I kind of want to do as much as possible. I know it's going to kind of drag out the playthrough a bit. Um, but I would like to see as much as I can. Oh my god, look at we have so much money. I haven't saved in like an, uh, probably... 40 minutes? Yeah, you know, like 40 minutes. Okay. It was so long it almost broke the whole thing. Going on here? Nope. Oh, I need to teach that spell to someone. Let's see, I don't see anything going on. The town layout is a little different. It said Muon is one of the ancient arts. Well, that does not help. Items. Eh. I don't see it. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> oh, there it is. A spell summons a floating island. So it's not, it sounds like a key item. Oh, do I not have to teach it to anyone? That's, that actually makes sense. Because before it was like a magic spell that you had to teach to someone. It didn't use any MP, but just someone had to have it. And I go, use Muon. Oh, look at that. There we go. Irum Heights, but I can move on and go to Irum. Irum? I think I think it's Irem. Let's go here, see what we can buy, see what kind of quests we get. This town is uh, different than I was expecting. You can make ancient magic by using magic stones. Uh, that I do remember. Item shop, what do you got? Uh, uh, coffee, cure sleep. Okay, paralysis, confusion, that's it. Damages a group of enemies. Okay. I'm looking for robot uh, upgrades. Armor shop. What do you got? Another armor. Doesn't help. Is this sleep? I might buy one of those for everybody right now. I don't have anything else to put in those slots. Might as well. Probably should have looked at the rest of the shops first. This town, Irem, was built by Grandma. I think she might be in the magic shop if you can find it. Oh, that's right. Getting to the magic shop. I mean, obviously you can see it on the map, but it used to be a, a little bit of work. Cool. All right. So now he can't be put to sleep. That's nice. Didn't help with the stats. That's okay. Not everything has to. What do you have? 
Long sword, a bastard sword. Derringer. I own one of those. Where did Ah, uh, I'm assuming that's uh Melrose. I'm gonna buy one of those for Hannibal. I think that's gonna be his main weapon for for now. It has 50 uses, so it clearly was intended that we use it. Cronus, he lives in the biggest house here. I think first I wanna see if I can find out oh, that recharge shop. I keep being like, ooh, what's this other thing in the uh in the inn? What is the thing? Oh, the fire tome. Wow, that is getting expensive. And the battle axe. All right, I, I need to repair his longsword for the for the moment. Do I? I actually don't. No, may I don't. I don't want to repair that yet. I do want to repair that. I do want to repair that. That's so cheap. It's not even. Yeah. I'm curious how the how the price plays out if it's like the same price per use in the lay channel there's said to be a town that was destroyed by disease oh. like is it cheaper to let things get down as low as possible and then recover them or uh if it's just a, if it's just static, as I recall, there's supposed to be a secret passage around here somewhere. I heard this hot spring is slimming. There we go. So here's the magic shop. Let's see what they got. Ooh, ah, you've managed to find me. Can you tell us about the Stethelos in the world of the future? Although I can't predict the future, if the Deluvius is not stopped, it's clear the world will eventually seek beneath the sea, which is probably bad. This is a magic shop. What do you got? Gimme. Fire recovery endowing. <laughs> endowing tome. Low end bravery series support magic. That's not clear enough for me to want to spend 3,000 Kiro on. I, I'm assuming it's stat boosting, but what stat? Or is it all of them? You know what? That's a good cleric -y spell. I'm just gonna just gonna do it. Whatever. We're we're freaking rich for the moment. Oh so, Braver so what does bravery do? You know, I wanna see what that does. That's uh, that's annoying. Just a little. Alright, I don't see any side quests. Assuming that effect is supposed to be steam. Alright, I think we're gonna call it here before, uh before we proceed with the next part of the plot. Monsters are appearing even on the floating continent lately. I hope Saul is okay. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll stop it here. And uh, again, I think this is gonna be the last episode of the recording session, so it would uh, definitely be helpful, helpful to know if people are into this, if you wanna see more of it. I really like this game. I, w I certainly wouldn't mind playing more, but uh, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.